ดีเนี่ยเอ่อยี่กะตาวงไปได้ด้วยเสียเราจะยี่กูซะพวกยี่เกียร์ปะพ่อยาวะเลยลงแค่เนี่ยเยอะตัวเจอรุงกะพวก
So today to Siaro will touch on another supporting factor for the meditators, which is like the last talk, but it is on the different topic. ยอมเสียเสียกันค่ะเสียกันค่ะเสียกันค่ะคณะคณะอมิขันยะราติสิเดถ้าอย่างกุหะกูตวีอองสุรเณเนมิเสียมรุอองกุหะกูตวีออง
never went, went anywhere else, but there is no thinking also, no speculation, none other uh, mind behavior could develop, only one-pointedness of mind sinking into the object and it will maintain it there and there. So that is the samadhi or concentration and you have to know yourself. ဘယ်လန်းတယ်လို့မှတ်လိုက်ရင်ညာချီတောကိုကြွားတဲ့အချင်ကစပြီးတော့ဖွိဂ်နေတဲ့အထိတစ်ဆက်တဲ့တပိ
or while you are walking elsewhere, for example to the eating place, like, for example like going to the eating place, then there is tranquility of mind, and it's the mind is stable, quiet. It never moves anywhere else. It is very stabilized and focusing only on the meditational object. So much so that if you can assess yourself, that you can keep your mind from on any kind of meditational object or meditational field, then your mind is not going elsewhere, but it is tranquil, quiet, still, and it won't move anywhere else, and it will be anchored on only on the object what you are focusing, then that is the time one can say that your samadhi or concentration strength is strong. But instead, while you are noting on any kind of meditational object, but if your mind is going elsewhere or looking here and there or so, then your mind is not having samadhi or concentration. Maybe your concentration is weak or maybe there is a dispersal of your concentration. So if to assess oneself, Sarah says, from after this Dhamma talk, as you proceed with your meditation, try and check yourself that if your samadhi is strong or not yet strong. To be strong means, as mentioned, it will focus only on the one object. However long your mind is keeping on the object, your mind never moves anywhere else. It is quiet, still, and noting only on the meditational object. So in that way you can assess, your, assess yourself that samadhi or concentration is strong or it is weak or it is dispersed elsewhere. So in that way a meditator can assess to oneself. Sheikh Zamadi ne Nal Zamadi Sassam Hadali Vibhadana Nyan Sura Pshinayde Zamadi Sassam Humashi Vibhadana Nyan Sura Mpshinayde Raja Nane Bainga Atautare Zamadi ne Nele Bain Atautare Zamadi ha Ta Sathe Ta Zathe Pshilabu Lure Nile Banga Atuta de the Madine, Nya Nibang, Yabang Atuta de the Madia, the Sate, the Zate, Pinibu, Lure, Ezlo the Madide Sassani, Ma, Ubaza Nanya, Soda Pinade, Uba Ma Banet du Longro, San Yogi Yalue, San Guinea, Sebi or Nima, San Yusura Pide, Patama Guine, Dudia Guinea, Sate. Dudia Queene, Tadia Queenha, Sete, Edlu, the Gwen at the Gwen, Sata B. Dwama, Plan Yogi to be in Pilot Kedaluwe, Samadi Diazra Aleve, Sheikh Samadine, Nal Samadi, Sata Mazali, Ubaza Nanyan Sura Pianaye, Tayao, Samadi Sata Aung, Atubo Lu Abade. Sarah explains that. To attain or accumulate the strong concentration, the preceding concentration must be connected with the succeeding concentration, so much so that it must be in a straight line, without break, without any gap in between, so that you are going to attain vipassana jnana or vipassana wisdom. How far we should attain the samadhi or concentration is, in the morning we meditate and we have accumulated concentration. And that concentration must be connected all along with the afternoon meditation or concentration and so at the evening and at night time. So all day long your chain of samadhi should be connected with one after another with that preceding and the succeeding samadhi or concentration shouldn't have any gaps or any uh, space in between. If a yogi can accumulate this kind of samadhi, a yogi is going to attain vipassana jnana or wisdom. So Sarah gives an example like how this chain of samadhi should be connected is 
like an uh, iron chain. When we see an iron chain, the one point after another, they are connected to each other, then it gives you a great length of that iron chain. But actually it is connected with one point after another. So likewise, if we are able to uh, connect these samadhi or concentration all day long with, with strictness, that it never comes, it never has gap, then that is the time you are starting to attain the vipassana wisdom. So in that way, yogi must have an attitude to have the straight or the connected samadhi all day long from morning till night time. Kyo yogi miyaga yada yadu da kya lare samadhi kongong mapshito yada thewa tiyan thai niyada yada thewa niyada akin sakhan akin thong thewa niyada lo si kin jya biro lewe the kyo yogi di phi niyada the kyo yogi niya kya ro samadhi sata mu ma shiwe nire dwe jya mo vipada na nyan tu kya kya di ma bode dwe jya mo ปิ่นละปิ่นละตัดเตยะตะลอกจาจาอัตถุเวมะบามะทุกข์ขะเจมะชีบุลูเลเวโยมะตันเตยะฤทิพย์ปอลาระเตยะตาจองดีโลอะ
a yogi is starting to achieve the distinguished vipassana wisdom, so much so that if one has reached to the top, then that yogi is able to achieve Ariya Mega or Novahood. So in that way, Syaro encourage all of you to achieve the Samadhi continuously all day long from morning till night time. If you can do that much, you are sure to attain Vipassana wisdom and Ariya Hot. ตมาดิภิกขังเตียโกสัจเปียวมากตมาดิภิกขังเตียกาเลวะชีวะเรอะรากะตอยุคกี้ตุอะลุนาเลเรไตมะเวตติปัฏฐานเลวะหาตมา
ไอ้นี่ลูกค้าวิทยาดุยลูกค้าวิทยาดุยกูลูกอชีดะอะไดฉันซายินแลเวฉันซาเดลูกสมัปปะมั่นเนี่ยเลยสิงเยยินแลเ
Seta Nubasana Satipata. By observing whatever the mental behavior crop up in our mind, then we have to focus on it instantly and observe on it, and that way of observation or contemplating must be continuous one after another to our mental behavior. So if we are doing so, we are practicing Seta Nubhasana Satipata. We are having the mindfulness on mind behavior. So this Seta Nubhasana Satipata become one fuse of the cause to attain Samadhi or concentration. Nanduku Samadhi Phiki and Kyanga Dhamma Nubhasana Satipata Mabe Dhamma Nubhasana Satipata Sora Yogi Miya Teya Shumani Rekhama Kama Gung Sik Kama Ayung Rego Siku Sinza Kyanti Dade Adi Kama Ayung Sedi Pippo Laying Lebe Pippo Lam Man Sri Niyare Ma Yine Pyo Zwaying Le Pyo Man Sri Yare Now Sik Su Mu Sinye Mu Rui Le Pippo La Dade Sik Su Mu Sik Sinye Mu Pippo Laying Lebe ไสซูเรสิงเยเดโลมั่นเนี่ยมาลุเปียวตัวยินเลเปียวมาสิเนี่ยเนาะไสอาเดยั่วเยวีขึ้นล่ะเนี่ยอคามาเอ็งไงเ
So as for a yogi who has not yet tasted the essence or the flavor of the dhamma, then yogi would be thinking this way or that way, and a yogi is developing doubt and perplexity on this dhamma and the practice. So if a yogi is developing this doubt, note as doubt, as it arises and as it dis- disappears, yogi must know it. And also whenever there is pl- perplexity or any wavering in your mind, know it as it arises and when it disappears too, you must understand it. So in that way a yogi is noting continuously to all these mental phenomena then you are doing the continuous noting in the Ma Nupasana Satipata. If you are contemplating in that manner, that the Ma Nupasana Satipatana or contemplation on all the mental objects, then this becomes as a cause to accumulate strong concentration. <laughs> ဖြစ်ပေါ်လာသည်မဟုတ်သမာဒီဖြစ်ခြင်းအကြောင်းဆိုတာရှိတယ်လို့နားလည်ဖို့လို့တယ်ဒါဒါကြောင့်သမာ
Number two is Anupana Pavaka. Number three is Anupana Kutala. And number four is Opana Kutala. These Pali terms will be explained further. And as for one, Opana Pavaka, that is the sin or the unwholesomeness or the unskilled states we have done from the moment you since the childhood up till now we all have done in one way or the other a kind of akutala misdeeds in our pastime. So this these kind of misdeeds or akutala must be get rid of from ourselves. How to get rid of means as we are in the meditation, as as we are noting so, this uh, unwholesomeness will crop up in your mind and it's the kind you are dispelling or get rid of that akusala. So this way of getting rid of the past akusala or unwholesomeness is one kind of the accompaniment to conduce samadhi or concentration. ไอ้ยาลูซูราหาอะจองจูโกอะซินชินไหนได้อะตินยันแนบาเดอะเฉิงมามะกองเดอะอะกุตุตุยโกแลเวโกทิแลยาวตุตัดเดนุ่นแน
this such and such is an akusala or unwholesomeness, with our wisdom we have determined that next time I won't let it happen to me this kind of akusala. So that you try to avoid any kind of akusala from your three kinds of deeds, as well you try to prevent not to develop in yourself. So this is the second kind of samabhatana or right exertion to conduce concentration. Tadiya samadhi chanya changa Mimi leshi bhavamha Lohma mapshipu zere Dhana sadho kudo deyago Pshyam atho jhen Vipadana kudo sadhi dhuigo Pshyam atho jhen Adalo mimi ya bhavamha Lohma mapshipu zere Kudo deyago dhuigo Pshyam atho jhen ha Tadiyya samadhi chen ayya chen tiyya dhva ke baare. Shara touched on the third point, and that third point is, in our lifetime, we have never done any kind of wholesomeness in ourselves. So, by, when we come to understand by practicing dana or generosity, or by practicing vipassana meditation or tranquility meditation, we would develop or accumulate merits in ourselves. So as we understood, we try to develop and establish this kind of merits by practicing through dana and vipassana, which we have never done before. Now we are starting to develop it, this wholesomeness. And this is the third kind of samabhatana or third kind of right exertion. Sadhuta Samadhi Achanya Chantiya Karoshe Mimi Yekhu Bhavamha Asri Alayma Nyanjinyari Chipolare Atwajamu Kudu Tiyarwego Amyagi Pithare Amyagi Pithare Pithare Nau Di Kudu Miyo Go Lewe Pupira Kudu Miyo Go Lagang Nautha Mapyu Asira Kudu Miyo Go Lagang Thad Lele Tho Bha Aung Pyure Te Jaymaka Ne Jaymaka Kudu Tiyarwego Thatha Pua Miyare Thatha Atho De Eri kudu tiyaru ego atatha pshiang, atatha pua mea ginga lewe, tatiya samadhiya chanya chong tiya dhva kshipare. So another kind of developing wholesomeness in one is, as we develop our jnana or wisdom in ourselves, then in this life we have done some kind of meritorious deeds. So as we have understood that we have done some kind of meritorious deeds, we cherish it, we persevere it, and repeatedly we want to flourish it and we want to develop it. So in that way of repeat, repeatedly flourishing this kind of meritorious deeds is another kind of right exertion. <laughs> Pipire akudogo bhaejin. Ne, ma pipire akudogo ma pipang atho jin. So, ma pipire akudogo diyarwego pipang atho jin. Le, pipire akudogo diyarwego thad le le tobaang piu jin. Adityaya levaha samadhi yi achanya achyam samabhada tiya levalu khawari. So in summarization, Syara explained on the four types of samabhatana or right exertion or right effort. The first kind of right exertion is to get rid of or dispel the unwholesomeness which have, we have done before. And second kind is the unwholesomeness which have not yet arisen must be prevented not to arise again. So this is the second kind of uh, samabhatana or right exertion. And the third kind is we need to develop ourselves with kusala or wholesomeness which have not yet developed to be developed. That is the third kind of samabhatana. 
And the fourth kind is, what that kind of wholesomeness which have already developed must be persevered, must be repeatedly developed and flourish it, and that is the fourth kind of samapatana. In summarization, these are the four points of right exertion. กุญแจละเกเรอตัยเวยุคีตันยุคีเนี่ยกุญแจละเกเรเอตมาธิโกปิยะเมมิมิยะตมาธิโกมิมินะเลยะเมเนตมาธิสุราหาอะจ่องแ